Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. If you're easily triggered, leave now because this is not the show for you. Now, what I'm going to talk about is how <laughs> our modern day women are still disrespecting men by calling them sassy. And y'all know that list they put out a while back or whatever it is, a bunch of things that would make a woman consider a man to be sassy, which, of course, is very unrealistic and stupid in my most humble opinion. But we're going to dive into some of those things on their list. And it's for educational purposes. <clears throat> and one thing that makes a man sassy, according to today's modern day black woman, is the fact that that man knows how to cook. Yeah, that's the dumbest thing yet, ain't it? I'm trying to put this on this thing the right way, y'all. Give me a moment. Yeah, let me do it right there. All right. As I always say, let's get it. Okay, I keep seeing videos of some women finding it sassy or you know weird or abnormal for men to cook what's wrong with men cooking my father cooked not everything but he could cook he was raised on a farm um he knew how to take care of his family he learned how to cook it's a life let me go ahead and jump in that right quick and tell you what it is these women are jealous of men okay when they see a man who knows how to cook and know his way in the kitchen, <clears throat> they know deep down subconsciously and consciously that that is something that a woman's supposed to know how to do. They know that's a pretty much required or expected expected skill set of a woman, especially a woman who wants to be somebody's wife. That is just normal. That is traditional. And because <clears throat> they're too lazy to know how to cook or no one taught them, they feel an insecurity about themselves. They feel that they feel that if, they feel as if they are not good enough. You get me? So when women say a man is sassy because he knows how to feed himself and his family and her and take care of himself, who can cook, that's because she is jealous of him. That's because she knows that she has missed the mark. Okay? A woman, you cannot be considered a woman if you do not know how to cook. That is just basic. That is just basic. You got to know how to cook for your man yourself and your children so when men men when you hear that shit it's basically because they're jealous they know that they are worthless and that they're no good to you as a man i mean as a woman sorry for stumbling but you get what i'm trying to say let's get it it's skill it's kind of important what do you call men who grill that's cooking and a lot of women have no issues with women with men grilling so what's the difference location I don't quite understand this. Quite often we see very toxic men on here talking about um, what women should be doing, what men should be doing. But I find it truly disheartening when, uh, and it's misogynistic. It's what's disheartening is to see women who also have that internalized misogyny. What's wrong with a man cooking? Some of the most famous chefs are men, which I kind of have a problem with that because it seems like it's more important or it's worthy of a title to be called a chef, but you can't put the kick cook in the kitchen. Um, anything a man can do that can make life easier for you, if he's your partner, if you have children, welcome it. Yeah. Exactly. It's just a bunch of immature women who say this stupid stuff, man. And put some more stuff on the screen of women saying the dumbest shit. These mustard back helpers, man. Let's get it. I'm looking for it. Hold on. Okay, this is it right here. I got to hit the mute on it. Let's get it. If you're unaware, we're in a sassy man apocalypse. For the women not being approached by men, it's not you, it's the men. And for the men, if the shoe don't fit, don't wear it. So let me give some of these men examples. And this is from my data and my research. This is I'm not making this up. This is true. To tell you if you're part of the sassy man apocalypse. Okay. For one, if you ask, what do you bring to the table? Of course, you're, you're part of the ringleader of the. Notice everything they say that makes a man sassy or the things that should make a woman give something to a man. If a man asks you, what do you bring to the table? What, do, what does he benefit from being with you? How do you contribute to our relationship? They will call you sassy. A woman who says that. Is someone who has absolutely nothing to bring to the relationship except trauma bonds, insecurities, other men's children, and sex. That's it. They don't have nothing else to really bring to a man that will make a man feel as if he got the right one. Okay? These are the women who are lazy. 
They don't want to work for your attention. They don't want to work for anything in life other than, you know, stuff that benefits them. They are selfish, not selfless. They don't care about no one else but themselves. Um, what do you bring to the table? How does this benefit me? How do you benefit me? What are you doing for me? Anything with me, 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 me. You have been infected by the sexy man apocalypse. Um, two, if you are not approaching women because you're afraid of rejection and you're just tired of the rejection or you're tired of not finding what you want out of a woman and you feel like you're the prize and you should be chased, you're infected by the sassy men apocalypse. So basically, if you're tired of dealing with women who are not giving you a good return on your investment in her, you're sassy. Okay, because you're tired of dealing with women who full of shit. <laughs> Boy, y'all, 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 oh boy, I'm a hey, shit. Boy, these women nuts, bro. All right, let me play this later right here. This is crazy, too. Hold on. One second, y'all. You, whoo. <laughs> Let's get it. If you know you love a man's man, you know a man that's gonna get in the field. He knows his alpha and omega. I'm gonna tell you how not to waste your time with a man that's confused. Or with a man that is sassy. I just want to save y'all time, okay? Learn from my mistakes so you don't have to make them. Here are four signs that he's sassy. One, he likes to be chased. Two, he think he the prize. I don't know about y'all Bible, but my Bibles, and I got King James Version, New Living Translation, Okay, amplified version. But the Bible clearly says he who finds a wife finds a good thing. All righty. I'm glad I found this motherfucker here. Let's break it down. Because a lot of y'all like to use that scripture in the Bible, but you don't understand that scripture. You got the right one today. Let me tell you something. <clears throat> a prize, since you want to be called a prize, just say this. A prize is something that you earn or that you work for. A gift is something that is freely given. Now, when the Bible says that he that finds a, a wife finds a good thing, let's break down the word good. Let's break down the word good. What does that mean? Okay. If a woman is a wife, then she has good. She has a good personality. Good. She know how to cook good. She know how to clean good. She knows how to be a good mother. She knows how to treat her man good. She knows how to respect him good. When something is good, it doesn't bring you grief and pain and conflict. Are you understand what I'm saying? So he that finds a wife finds a good thing. That means that that woman has a character, has the characteristics of something good, of someone good, a good demeanor. She dresses good. She doesn't go out dressing like a hoe. She talks good. She doesn't use a whole bunch of profanity. Mm hmm. She knows how to have. Let's see. She's good. I'm trying to think what else I can think about that. She's good as she are. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. She is good at honoring her man. She is good at knowing her place. She is good at being as being a subservient to that man. She's good at being feminine. So, yeah, a man who finds a wife finds a good thing when she has those good qualities. But a lot of you don't have those good qualities. So if a man finds you and wife's you, he did not find a good thing. He found a hell raiser. He found the bad thing. So again, and also, let's say this, since you want to talk about the pride and you want to talk about your Bibles and your translations of the Bible, nowhere is it written in any of the books of the Apographer, in any of the Holy Scriptures, which is in the Holy Bible, nowhere is it written in the people who follow the laws of, Mo the laws of Moses, the Mosaic laws, which is in the Torah. Nowhere is it written in the Quran that a woman is a motherfucking prize. If it is, send me, send it to me. But I'll tell you what is written is that women are supposed to be submissive to their men across the board. So miss me with that part of the scripture that you are using out of context. Okay? That you just try to justify your bad behavior because it ain't gonna work on Mr. Hill. Oh, I wish she would have came on my show for a live interview. I would have ripped this woman up to sh boy. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. I had enough of this shit. Anyway, y'all.
Y'all let me know what y'all think about it. Sorry about stumbling and stuff, but that, 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 I just get tired. Y'all, I get tired of some of these things these women say. And what's so sad about it, they truly believe the shit they saying. They are truly delusional. They truly, a man can't cook. I saw one thing where uh, Glorilla, the rapper, said, if a man eat eggs, he's sassy. If he eat eggs, he's sassy. You know what? Let me see if I got it. Hold on. I am about to go, get out of here. But hold on for a second. I'm going to show that to you. I want to show you just how silly these women are. How they think so little of you. Make sure it's on your screen. One second. I got to play this. I just got to play it before I get out of here. I just got to. Hold on. Boom. Okay. Let's get it. Glorilla says if you eat eggs as a man, that makes you sassy. Glorilla says if you eat eggs as a man, that makes you sassy. Glorilla says if you eat eggs as a man, that makes you sassy. There it is. I proved it to you. You know, I don't just be making up shit. I be telling you the real shit. That's crazy, man. That is crazy, man. Well, anyway, y'all have uh, I better say enjoy your weekend. Boy, everyone got me ticked out. Anyway, <laughs> y'all have a good one, man. Y'all be safe out there, man. Um, I'll talk to y'all later. Um, yeah. Take it easy now, you hear?